cowboy steak mukbang let's do this all right so today man i've got a cowboy steak mukbang i thought let's just switch it up do a bit of a texas slash america style cowboy steak got some cheese got some oh, what are these called oh i forgot damn it i think the kajuna fries i don't know i forgot the name already but hey got some coca-cola bullseye let's do this man so anyways and right, i got some onion rings mm -hmm. all right i'm hungry man so anyways hope you guys have been doing well i've been doing excellent Got some goat cheese as well. Just thought, you know, just add some goat cheese to it. Damn. So this is dry eggs. So if you're wondering why it's not pink, because it's dry eggs. Mmm. Mmm. That is good, man. Mm. Come on. Damn it, it's not coming out. Ah, oh, screw it. But alright, so, it's been a couple of days. I know, just been busy with school. But I'm back anyways, nonetheless, man. So what I did this whole week, this Tuesday, um, I just got back from driving lessons today. Well, a few hours, but. Mm. As you probably already know, you probably heard the news already about Juice World. That I do to you, she's a teacher to you two days ago. And I want to talk about that, man. I want to talk about it. Mm. While eating, of course. So as we all know, men just want to die. Mm. It's over the whole news, man. Like, whole news over the whole world. Even in the Netherlands. Because um, he was actually in, on tour. Last year, Amsterdam, I think. In the summer. Or October, I don't know. But it was in Amsterdam a while ago. Mm. 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 Wow. Not bad. It's sad, man. It is really sad. And um, the sad thing is. People using him for fees. Let me tell you something about it, man. It's, it's it's the whole thing like acts over again. A lot of hate before he died because of domestic abuse with his girlfriend, this and that. But after X died, same with Nipsey Hussle, everyone else who's who's, who's died throughout the decade has gotten so much love out of nowhere and a lot of following like Juice WRLD has gained over 4 million plus followers in 2 days and what shocks me the most is well, no what I don't get is why would you follow a guy on Instagram if he's passed away like it makes no sense, it doesn't make sense to you? it doesn't make sense for me you know um now oh Oh, this is my dog. Not everyone's calling Juice for Legend, man. The guy was 21 years old. He released Lucid Dreams when he was like 19. Which is crazy. But honestly, the saddest thing about his death, man, is people using his name for views for in YouTube titles. Like, everywhere what I've seen, man. Rip Juice for... Rip Juice for Muckbang, I'm like... Yo, sad, man. I mean, I get it. Everybody wants to click. I understand that completely, but... 
They're really using a guy's name for views, man. Now that shit is whack, man. I have no respect for YouTuber that does it, man. None. Even if it's, even if it's meant good, man. But you're probably wondering, but Keegan, they, they don't know that. Of course they know that, man. They know someone dies, they use the name, the, the person is a popular person. They got clicks. But I watched one YouTuber, I'm Dante. That was one of the best videos that I watched throughout this whole thing with the juice. He said that it could have been prevented. And I agree, it could have been prevented, man. My opinion is, they found now, allegedly, that he popped several pills before he went on the private plane. Yeah. And apparently the cops say that he had 70 pounds of weed, I think, on him. And three gun, 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 it's the, there's a couple of his friends were on the plane. Apparently they had guns as well. And, um, I don't really know how the law works in America. Because I do know that weed is not allowed in every state. Not every state allows weed. Really whack. I don't get why, just, if you, it's weird, man. I don't get the point of legalizing weed in some states in America. But then, in other states, it's legal. I'm like, just legalize. Like, what, what's, what's the point? It's whack, you know. So they're saying that he popped um, the pills before there. And he probably died because of the stress. Anxious. Which caused a seizure, apparently. It's sad, man, but... It's how it is. But I'm going to tell you one thing. There's no way in five or six years that I'll ever use someone's death for views. Never. That feels really, really... It feels really bad, man, using someone's name for views and entire like. I know what you're probably wondering, but you're talking about it now. Well, there is a difference between talking about it instead of actually putting someone's name in a title for clicks. Like, that's quite a difference. You're not going to see this video with rib use in the, in the title. You're going to see me talking about it. You know? I'm not going to use a man's death for clout, man. Not like that. And I'm being very honest with you there. I wouldn't do that. I would never do that. That's my, is that my dad was in there? Nah, anyways, man, let's change the subject, man. We all know that juice wood is dead, man. But hey, man. I'm very calm today, actually. Although, I'm saying it now because I'm eating that. At school, I was really busy, man. Holy down. I had a test yesterday, which I was supposed to make yesterday, but my teacher didn't print the test out. I'm like, uh, well, we, got, we got a really good connection, but I was like, are you really serious, man? I gotta make it tomorrow. I need to move for that. Hmm. So I had to make it today, and surprisingly, it was a redoing, so basically, I'm a hair counseling, as we call it in the Netherlands. Where if you f you're allowed to, I'm not sure if it's on every sy system in the schools, but on my system, every time you've got a uh, test week, and in that period you're allowed to redo one test, which in this case was history because I didn't learn enough for it. Hmm. So I did it today, man. I think it went really well. But that's the crazy thing. I often have a feeling, man, this went so well. But then you look at the result, like, shit, I got a 4.5. It's weird. I have got to tell you that you're doing well, but then, eh, I don't know, man. It's weird. I don't know. Hmm. I'm probably not going to eat that. It's too much. Not a lot of things happened this week. Being honest, it's only Tuesday, so it's beginning of the week, so you know. Um, the only thing I can really talk about is I had driving lessons today. But the weird thing is, man, the guy that goes after me, believe it or not, has had double the lessons that I've had. And I'm trying to sound cocky, but it's kind of a fact. I even talked about the guy about it. He gives me driving lessons. He makes quite a lot of mistakes. Yeah, and... It's mistakes that I made as well, I'll be very honest with you, I ain't gonna lie about that. Those are mistakes that you make when you're in a rush. But I'm very chill behind the sitting room, man. I'm very chill with it. I don't stress like I used to. 
This first, man, that shit is really, it's scary, man, going on the road with people around you. You gotta anticipate what those people are gonna do, man. You gotta sort of read their mind. You gotta basically read the future on what they are potentially gonna do as their next move. Are they gonna go around the corner? Are they gonna stop heavily on the brakes? You don't know that. You, you, that's what you gotta do yourself. That's what happened today as well. So I was driving 30 zone, uh, 30 kilometers, I'm not sure what that is, miles per hour, 30, 30 35, 40, miles, I don't know. I drive, and when you brake, you look in the in the in the inside mirror. So why you put it on the So if you brake like hard on the brakes, before you've looked in the inside mirror, you don't know what's potentially behind you. You could hit the brakes, you could slam on the brakes, but the truck could be behind you, and you're basically dead. If you get what I mean. So I did that very fast. I hit the brakes, the clutch. I had the clutch in. So what I do when it's like a uh, a cross point? I don't know. I don't know what you call it, but I got a spin. Is when it's like 10 15 kilometers an hour, I let the clutch, I hold the clutch at that moment. I don't brake, I have the clutch, and then when I have to brake, I brake. But the nice thing is, I have the clutch ready, so I don't have to brake and clutch it. Then I already got the clutch in, I brake. So I had to do that today, like bicyclist, oh shit, I don't know, features, try to pass the road, cross, well, cross, pass, oh, man, really? Fuck, how did I? No, I don't know. Cross the road, so I have to slam on my brakes, like. Kids, man. Well, I'm also a kid, but you get the point. It's very jiggly. I'm not normally a big fan of bloody, bloody steak. I think I don't think it's real blood, but still, I'm not the biggest fan of the of like the bloody stuff, man. You know, you know that. Hmm. Not at all. I ain't. It went really well today, man. It could have been better if I had different shoes, because you know, like shoes. For example, if you have like Yeezy shoes, or, like a uh, Puma shoe that have a sort of like pointy front tip, it can cause um, your f you can actually you know with your feet you can actually get stuck or you like the the clutch you, you let go too long when you're trying to switch gear. I had it twice today, I'm like, man, these shoes are shit. I should have used my suckers, well, my gym shoes. Because they're very flat. They don't have a pointy tip. They're perfect, man. But yeah. I actually got this basket as well. <laughs> Can we like that? I actually like this. Not bad. I went, actually the, I, went, I went to the Zanus and they actually find it, but they didn't have it. Really weird. I'm dipping into nothing, oh shit. Whoa! Hey, I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm very chill today. I'm in a good mood. And I'm chill, I'm chilly, you know? I'm just very chill today. Not as excited as I normally am. I am just very chill today. Just thought, you know what? Let's make a relaxing mukbang, sort of like slash A if you get what I mean? I still gotta focus. I still gotta work this focusing thing out. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah, man. Let's go back to uh, to um, rip to juice wheel. You know, nowadays, man. Uh, John John and Lucas, I think, made a tweet about it on Twitter, saying about that rappers slash influence, but mainly rappers glorify drug use, and it's true. I mean, that's, tell me, let me know what rapper that doesn't use the word drugs in their song or uses the drugs in their song. Almost every rapper does it. There's not really one rapper that I know about, at least, that doesn't smoke or sip lean in the videos. Like, I don't know any rapper that doesn't. It's all. I wanted to say. I want to say that a lot of rappers, I think, fake their image, like they're acting as someone in the videos that they're not. For example, they act very tough in these videos, but in real life they're like normal like everyone else. You know, does it make any sense? I don't think it does. You get the point, I think, right? Coca-Cola actually helps you against tummy ache, which is a fact. Believe it or not, it actually works. I don't know how. Well, apparently I saw this thing on Instagram as well. That if you feeling sick or dizzy you should go to mcdonald's and eat a burger i'm like 
either this is bullcrap or this is self-promotion for you for McDonald's. Like, there's no other thing than that. But some people say it's true. Like, nah, you gotta be for real, man. That's not true, right? It's actually true. I'm like, hell, weird, man. You're telling me if you're not feeling well, you're feeling dizzy, sick, you're gonna drive the, all the way to McDonald's. Cause look, you gotta rid us, man. McDonald's for me, driving with the car. I don't drive, but you know, my dad brings me there. For example, I'm making eating video. It takes, depending on traffic time, 15 minutes, less than 15 minutes. And with traffic, could take up to like 40 minutes when it's like a couple of kilometers away. But with the bus, depending on the time and how busy it is. Um, the weird thing is the bus actually is very fast. Because sometimes, look, because this morning there was traffic as well. And I was like, damn, am I glad I ain't got no car yet, man. That's one thing I have to be, I, I love a lot. If I've got to be honest, man, I love the public transport. The public transportation is very nice to for avoiding evading. I think it's avoiding uh, traffic. And that's one thing that's very good. Although I do hate the fact that some drivers are so slow. I'm like, my man, it's two kilometers straight road, and you're driving sixty when you could be driving eighty or eighty-five. Because the, the 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 public transportation the public transportation buses are limited to eighty-five kilometers an hour. That is fast for a, I think it's a V6 or V8 in it, and uh, it's got, believe it or not, 300 and plus horsepower, which is a lot on a heavy thing like that, because that thing goes through, goes through stuff, man, like that, I actually wonder how much it costs average to run a bus every day, I think we're talking about a lot, a lot of money, because it uses like one or four, if you're lucky, one or five, but average one or three, I think, it's, it's heavy, and the more people you got in the car, the more fuel you use because it's got more weight it's got to got to carry it's going to equal more money as well you know but now for me it's actually relatively pretty cheap i mean it cost me so if i walk to the bus uh thing in the morning and i end to to the metro it's 339 because i don't have a um thing magic i just have a anonymous uh, one because i don't really care man um and then when i go on the bike which is like seven eight minutes you think magic it saves me 37 cents i'm like yeah this shit really nice and it's nice it's a good exercise it's a good exercise for the morning as well it sort of motivates you i guess to start the day off if you get what i mean uh because i know people nowadays are very, very easy very lazy with not wanting to do stuff when it comes to moving they just want something that's the easiest for them and just lazy you know but i think you know what instead of waiting every single evening five minutes for the bus and having to pay 38 cents for for actually nothing when i could just go on the bike Cause if it doesn't look like a much like much money, one dollar and let's see how much is it. Yeah, one dollar fifteen, I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, one dollar fifteen. It doesn't look like much, but I'm saving one euro fifteen every single day by going on the bike. But yeah, I mean, add it up, man. Ten days is eleven plus. Like, yeah, it, it saves you at the end. It can save you a lot of money. Cause some people will say, "Ah, oh, but thirty-eight cents is nothing." Yeah, but if you take the bus five days a week and you do thirty-eight cents times five times thirty-eight, you're looking at one ninety. You're looking at one ninety a week. Doesn't look like much, but it's still one ninety you could have saved. You know, you gotta take it like that. It's called bezuinigen. Yeah. But hey, I'm gonna have to end this video. I know some of you are saying, man, god damn you talk a lot. I know, I like to talk. <laughs> I try to not talk a lot, but it's just, it ain't really possible for me. I just love talking a lot. And if you haven't noticed already, I actually got a new plank. I'm gonna be straight up honest, man. I didn't thought this was so expensive. I thought, I was, I was thinking about like nine or 10 bucks, but 20 bucks, I'm like, oh shit, here we go again. Like these wooden, these wooden planks are not cheap, man. They can go up from like 20 to 50, 60 dollars. And it's just from a normal average tree, I'm supposing. Because the other plank I have is, is a, from a mango tree, apparently. Well, I don't know what that really is. It's a mango tree, I know. But this is just this is actually very nice, man. It's it's really nice. Only thing you've got to be just very careful is with the stains. You got to remove this very fast. And I hope you like okay. this as well. I thought it would be nice to add for new videos. I've got a gold and a black one, but I don't like gold, man. I don't like the coloring, so you know. And um, yeah, it's a shame that this didn't come out i think this is dried it won't come out so yeah i don't know 
But hey, I'm gonna end this video, man. If you haven't seen uh, my, my new ASMR video that I posted two days ago, ASMR Draw My Life video, I definitely recommend you check another one out. That is an awesome video. You don't, you don't, you don't want to miss it out. So check it out on the ASMR channel. And then, what's the day today? Okay, Thursday, I've got a new ASMR video coming out. I've got an ASMR doing your makeup roleplay video coming out. So you better stay tuned for that. Follow me on Instagram, at lovelyASMRS. Uh, my Snapchat is Keegan9853. My Facebook, Keegan ASMR. Although I don't really use Facebook that often because it's sort of a creepy platform. Like a lot of creepy people are on the man, especially a creepy dude. So I, t I tend to, to avoid Facebook at all time. And uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button. And uh, I'll catch you in the next Mugway video. I uh, was actually going to do a... So, fun fact, we do actually have Taco Bell in the Netherlands, but it's in Tilburg, Brabant, and that's... My man, that's a girl that I'm two hours away from me. I'm like, I don't mind doing it, but it's two hours away, so the food's going to get cold, so I'm going to have to make it there, probably. But yeah, I'm going to end this video. Hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you all in the next video. Mm.